Two identical heat recovery steam generators produce steam that is generated from the exhaust gas heat coming from two Siemens Westinghouse gas turbines, which are also identical units. The steam flows to the steam turbine through three steam lines. These steam lines operate at different temperatures and pressures. Main steam runs at 1,626.6 pounds per square inch absolute at 1,050 degrees Fahrenheit. Main steam may also be referred to as high pressure or HP steam. When the steam arrives at the bypass intersection, it can either be bypassed back to the HERSIG via the cold reheat line or continue on to the steam turbine. From the bypass valves, main steam continues on to its isolation valves. From the isolation valves, the steam goes to the steam turbine enclosure where it has two sets of stop and control valves. There's one set of valves for each main steam line that passes to the main steam section of the turbine. Reheat or intermediate pressure steam runs at 342.5 psi at 1050 degrees Fahrenheit. Reheat steam may also be referred to as cold reheat for reheat steam returning to the HERSIG or hot reheat for reheat steam leaving the HERSIG. The steam arrives at its bypass intersection where it will either bypass to the condenser or continue on to the steam turbine. From the bypass valves, reheat steam continues on to its isolation valves. After passing the isolation valves, the reheat steam arrives at the steam turbine enclosure. There are two sets of stop and control valves on each side of the steam turbine for reheat steam. The LP steam leaves the HERSIG at 79.2 psi at 606.7 degrees Fahrenheit. LP steam arrives at the bypass intersection where it is either bypassed to the condenser or continues on to the steam turbine. After the bypass intersection, the steam travels to the line's isolation valves. From the isolation valves, the LP steam travels to the steam turbine enclosure. There is one control valve and one stop valve on the low-pressure steam line. 